Well, I interviewed, because six kids is a lot of kids. Personally, I, I was TV guy asked me how many kids I interviewed in order to get the six I wanted. Now, since I was casting the kids first, I didn't know whether to, I wanted the instant recognition of blonde-haired mother, blonde girls, dark-haired father, dark-haired boys. But I didn't know if that was going to be true. It could be a blonde father, then I would need three blonde boys, and vice versa. So I didn't have to cast six kids. I had to cast 12 kids because I had to start that casting process before I got to the mother and father. And by actual count, because my secretary went through all my notes, I had interviewed 464 kids to arrive at those 12. Uh, you know, when you unravel these things, it's, it is interesting, I guess. Florence Henderson was unavailable the week we were testing ladies. Bob Reed, which I didn't know, was under contract to Paramount because he had heard they were doing a, a TV uh, series based on Barefoot in the Park and another TV series based on, on Houseboat with Cary Grant and uh, uh, Sophia Loren. And that's what he was all excited about. He never heard of the Brady Fund. The other two series fell by the wayside. They never did them. Now they were stuck with paying him all this money because he was pay or play, you know. He was signed. I didn't know that. I also didn't know Bob Reed, who turned out to be a pain in the neck. At this point, we tested several ladies, and we had a very funny lady, Joyce Bullifant, whom I had worked with before. And she really is a funny lady. She has a funny kind of squeaky voice. And uh, <clears throat> because she was funny, I cast a, a housekeeper who was not funny. She was, her name was Marge something. Her name escapes me now. She died recently. Anyway, she was told to play it. I mean, I told her to play it with some kind of, any accent she's, familiar with, uh, Norwegian, or French, or whatever. Just not American, that's all. And she said fine, and she was very good, but she wasn't funny. Florence came out after she finished, she had taken somebody's place every day on some talk show. That's why she wasn't available. Now she arrives in Hollywood and comes down to the studio and now agrees to do a test. And she tested with several guys. Bob Reed was one of them. And she and he were very good together. But she is not naturally funny. She doesn't have a funny voice. She has a good voice. She's a hell of a singer. And she can handle comedy, but she has, does not have a comic persona like Joyce Bullifant has. So... I now have this problem. Florence can deliver jokes or comedy lines, but she herself is too dainty and pretty, really, to be funny. And her voice is not a funny voice. So now I have a talented but not very funny person in the kitchen, which is a lot of the show is going to take place there. And I have potentially hired a straight uh, housekeeper. So I said to Paramount, this is not going to work. They said, what's the problem? I said, I need comedy in the kitchen. I need a funny housekeeper. And they said, like who? I said, like Ann B. Davis, who is funny. That's it just, now she can do drama too, but she has a funny persona. You're going to laugh. They said, where is she? I said, I don't know where she is. They said, well, let's find out. Turned out she was in Seattle. Now, we're only three or four days away from 
potential production. And she's in Seattle doing stand-up. So she's funny. <laughs> and that's my point. She's funny. They said, well, she's got three more weeks left. I said, so? They said, what do you mean so? I said, buy them out. Because we're going into, you know, the apron is ready. We got, we got the blue apron already. <laughs> so they said, that's going to cost money to buy her out of her engagement. I said, yeah. But that will guarantee you a kitchen where we have Mrs. Brady and Amby Davis. Well, they didn't like to spend the money, but, you know, if you're, if you say it's important, so they said, okay. Well, 24 hours later, she was in L.A. And I really didn't know her personally, but I knew her work and I knew what she could do. So she was now part of the cast. So we now had Amby Davis, we had uh, Florence, who's wonderful. She's really the most wonderful performer I think I've ever worked with because she is helpful. 